my dear so welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to share with you fin or oh, it's all about fins right what is fins and uh, what we can do with this how to solve numerical problems uh, if you will get related to this topic right so what is fins basically so basically what happen we use fins in case of automobile uh, refrigerator condenser you can say refrigerator condenser you can see uh, such type of you know uh, such type of uh, rod type and come with uh, a structure in the back side of the refrigerator most of the time right but nowadays it's you can see such type of structure in the old refrigerator but nowadays it's covered okay now now the thing is that what is fins basically so fins uh, it is you know it we use it for increasing heat transfer rate heat transfer rate we use fins for increasing heat transfer rate okay automobile we used i mean automobile means i'm talking about bike we used in bike right so uh, this is this is all about fin but now the most important factor is that that is most important what is that that is what we exactly do with the fins right so first of all fins we use to increase the heat transfer rate first second what kind of fins we used so now I am going to draw a diagram which diagram will help you to discover the basic concept of this if you wanted to solve numerical problems related to pin fins or you must say pin, uh, fins right so here we got something amazing right this is a diagram suppose that this is a diagram of fins and here uh, this thickness here qx is entering to this fin and we're getting qx plus dx okay suppose that length of the fin is l and its z and its thickness is t and here and this is a base wall let's say this is a base wall right and uh, this is you can say this one is root okay now root or base or both uh, root or base of fin both same now here what is going on a convection is going on why suppose that you will see uh, some kind of fins in bike and uh, because bike will be run that means the temperature that heat will transfer from its cylinder or engine to fins and then fins will transfer heat to the surrounding air that's which process is going on there convection process is going on there okay so this is the diagram and this is a typical fin and you must say this is a rectangular fin we are doing some just analysis simple analysis okay so here with the thickness of the fin z is width of the fin now most important thing what are our exactly objectives from this derivation or must say uh, this uh, this concept or this video exactly in this video i'm going to share with you temperature i mean uh, how to find out slope how to find out heat transfer rate these things i am going to share with you here only okay now what happened we have in qx and qx plus dx what is qx and what is qx plus dx we need to know qx means heat conducted into element that means k a d t by dx heat conducted into the element and qx plus dx heat conducted out of the element okay so here qx plus curly by curly x qx into dx so these are two equations we are using here now if you wanted to write energy valence equation for steady state condition of the elements suppose that we wanted to write energy balance equation for the steady state condition of this uh, of this uh, elements of this elements that means of this fin then what we should write that should be heat heat conducted 
feed conducted into the element is equal to heat conducted heat conducted uh, out of the element out of the element plus heat conducted from or heat convected from the surface of element heat convected from the surface of element right so here we what we got qx is equal to qx plus dx plus q convection because convection process is going on there right now let's go for the next step that's why you can understand about it what exactly going on okay so here what what is going on here qx is equal to qx plus curly by curly x qx into dx h p dx t minus t infinity because of this convection process now if you we, we will simplify this now if we will simplify this what we are going to get qx because we cancel right this one is 0 this one is 0 and 0 is equal to curly by curly x qx into dx plus hp dx t minus t infinity we can transfer this dx dx to this side that means this will become again 0 so uh, d if we will again differentiate this equation other than, other than just okay 1 and 1 we cancel out right so d square t dx square hp by ka t minus t infinity is equal to 0 right and one of the most important thing you know what is that we know m is equal to root under hp by ka so slow this is a slow and its unit is per meter or you can say meter minus one so so what exactly i am trying to say we just going to put the value of this here in this equation so d square t dx square m square t minus t infinity is equal to zero right now <coughs> till this point we can get this one right now suppose that we are putting t minus t infinity is equal to theta is equal to fx after differentiating we can say dx is equal to d theta by dx and d2 square is equal to d theta by dx square so we can put this value here so what we get d2 theta by dx square minus m square theta is equal to 0 and this is a standard format of second order differential equation you know that okay so after solving this differential equation we will get the value we will get the value that is theta 1 is equal to c1 e to the power mx plus c2 e to the power mx after solving the whole equation okay now this is all about all about uh, and yes c1 c2 constant this is all about finding out theta i mean slope right now we are having cases we are having cases in fins and what type of fins we are going to use right so we need to understand all those cases also so let's go for the first step first case case first right so in the case first what happened suppose that fin is infinitely long okay very long very long fin you can say then what will happen for its heat transfer rate so heat transfer rate q is equal to k a m t naught minus t infinity is equal to we can say also this h a i o h a p k right t naught minus t infinity this is the formula if we are trying to solve the infinite uh, fin is infinitely long and we wanted to find out heat transfer rate now next if we we'll say this is uh, this is it okay this is it if we we'll say finite the length is finite length is finite and tip tip is insulated tip of the fin is insulated 
okay if length is inclined and tp is of the uh, fin is insulated then how we are going to find out its uh, heat transfer rate so for this we are having formula q is equal to hp k a t naught minus t infinity 10 hypo m l c this c is most important and one of the most secret yeah 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 that is most important i would like to share with you secret is here if in the problem we don't have given any case then we have to consider this case by default remember this okay this is important right so let me use another pen okay now 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 most important uh, yeah most important yeah yeah most important that is yeah let me share with you first yeah i'm sorry if uh, finite tip is not insulated i must say that then we'll have this one now third point if tp is this is finite length finite length and tip is insulated if tip is insulated then what we are going to get this i mean how we can find out so q is equal to h p k a t naught minus t infinity 10 hypo ml now one thing i haven't shared with you that is lc what is lc l is length of the fin as i have already shared with you but what is lc lt lc is characteristic length okay so we are having two types of fins one is rectangular type and another one is uh, pin fin or you can say circular type so in case of rectangular uh, fin lc is equal to l plus t upon 2 t is thickness and in case of circular uh, lc is equal to l plus d by 4 d is diameter of that circle so this is how you can find out heat transfer rate in case of fin right now if you wanted to find out any other things just like uh, suppose that efficiency then that's also simple okay now what i'm going to share with you that is uh, uh, effectiveness of fin right so let's go for it effectiveness of fin effectiveness of fin well, suppose that you wanted to find out effectiveness on, of fin and you know wh why we use fin because of its effectiveness it increases heat transfer rate then without using fin so if we are using fin that means it must increase heat transfer rate okay so uh, if effectiveness of the fin is greater than 2 or equal to 2 then we use only fin if it is not greater than or equal to 2 then we are not going to use fin remember that this is tricky i mean this is important most of the time objective type question you can see okay now most important thing if uh, if we wanted to find out effectiveness that is that is epsilon then what what would be the formula for this so for a definition if you go for definition then the formula is fin heat transfer rate to the heat transfer rate of the fin to the heat transfer rate without existing the fin suppose that heat transfer rate is 20 with fin and without fin is 10 then it is equal to 2 so that means according to our standard we are going to use fin in that system if it is less than 2 we are not going to use fin in our system okay now let's go for the efficiency of the fin so what would be the formula for efficiency of the fin efficiency efficiency of fin efficiency is equal to q actual heat transfer rate actual uh, actual uh, you know you must say actual heat transfer rate taking place to the fin by maximum possible heat transfer rate that can occur to the fin okay so maximum possible heat transfer rate of the fin so actual means root under hpka 10 theta minus t infinity so t naught minus t infinity 10 hypo ml pi by you must say that 
yeah so it is h p l t naught minus t infinity so we can say that tan hypo m l root under h p k a into l you can say this okay so this is how you can find out efficiency of efficiency of thing now another thing is most important that is what that is also i need to share with you if this case is applicable only for you know only for general type now if insulated tip if we we are we are considering a fin which is having an insulated an insulated tip then what would be the efficiency of fin efficiency is equal to 10 hypo ml by ml and and if fin is infinitely long if fin is infinitely long then what would be the efficiency of the fin infinitely long then it will have 1 by ml m is slope and l is length so i hope this is a lengthy lecture i think so you have you maybe you got bored but yeah i had to share with you this lecture so this is all about fins and i uh, hope you enjoy the lecture you have learned a lot of things from this lecture so thank you very much for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye